so let's proceed so the agenda will be something like this now this point this topic that we are going to learn in today's session is going to give you a good information about the auto populating advance fields okay so the agenda that we are going to have is auto populating uh, auto populating advanced field where we will not be making any direct entry into the field but they will be automatically populated now this topic is very important for your certifications because there will be some definite questions coming out of this topic in your certification examination so be careful and uh, try to understand each and every point which you are which you are learning in this today's session so it will be very easy for you to give your best in the certification that you will be or you might be planning the way many other people are planning so let's proceed so first thing first what this topic is and why it is important and then we'll start understanding one by one let's have a scenario <clears throat> let's have a business problem and uh, then we'll understand this topic so assume that our customer is asking to come online because they are facing some problem okay no problem so we are coming online and after coming online we are saying to the customer yes sir please uh, tell me what actually is the problem so customer is saying okay can you go to the application that we have so we are saying sure sir and we went to indeed application customer is saying please click on the tab and try to create a record so we are saying okay click on indeed job form click on new okay now customer is saying see our business uh, people or our management people said this let's take an example you enter some value let's say the person name is john let's say the person name is john and let's say last name matthew <coughs> experience whatever and whatever about you whatever just say it so customer is saying see guys now the business problem is this you guys have given the field first name last name all fine but actually we are having a pattern in our company to refer the records or identify the records or address the records with its full name that too in the pattern of outlook name format now what is the meaning of outlook name now anyone in the session ever worked on outlook application this is the very famous application of microsoft which is used in the industries for mailing purpose companies don't use yahoo or gmail and all anyways nowadays they started using gmail but companies are using the outlook for that so microsoft application for mailing so how is the outlook so for example what is the reference of that outlook here so for example your first name is let's say for example john and your last name is for example matthew so if you observe your full name or your name how it will be displayed on outlook then it will be on outlook application your name will be displayed like matthew john this is the format by which microsoft's outlook application will show your name in this format okay so customer said that we are going to address all the people all our client clients by this way but right now we don't have that option right now we are having this option only and for this we are not happy we want some change in this so we are saying okay sir no problem so what actually we can do here is we will give you one more field sir a third field and uh, what you can do you guys can while typing john and matthew at that time only you guys type here matthew also 
and then John also and that's it your problem is solved customer saying oh you mean to say that we are you are going to provide me one more field and our people need to add the value in the third field as well that is your saying we are saying yes sir correct customer said uh, okay even it's going to be a small manual activity for us but okay fine we are okay we will proceed but customer said what about the uh, old fields the old records because uh, we have some old records where we have just entered first name last name and uh, there is no such uh, option right now the outlook name and all so once you create a new field what will happen to old records because in old records this field will be blank so now to just sake of impress customer what we said is no problem sir don't worry we will take care of that we will arrange a person and uh, we will ask him that open all the old records and copy last name and paste here copy first name paste here in the outlook field and the problem is solved so don't worry sir we will arrange a person now this is we said just to impress a customer assuming that it's not going to be any, any difficult activity and now customer thought all solved we are thinking we solved the problem and we are customer is happy now before we they both started closing the session just as a casual discussion we ask customer that sir such how many records you have which are already present in your environment where you need to make such kind of changes and uh, what customer said to us that was something definitely very much shocking customer said that guys such old records i have 90000 such 90000 old records i have where we have first name where we have last name where we have where we don't have any outlook name and you have to copy paste data from first name and last name to outlook name and save the record now we got completely shattered because how anyone can do this kind of activity 90000 times copy paste copy paste save copy paste save now here we are stuck by giving a false commitment to customer now in this case one field or one special topic will help you that is what we are going to see here the topic we are going to see here is formula field now here what we are going to do or what we are going to understand is practically conceptually we are going to implement this scenario and then we will make it more complex and again we'll try to see how we can get solution in this case okay so let's proceed and try to understand this interesting topic of formula field but before i proceed i am going to tell you one i am going to show you one diagram which will explain you how formula field is to be used let me just search the diagram in my laptop and uh, yeah here we go so how formula field is different see in the normal field that whatever we have seen the text or pick list or number or email whatever we have seen there is a user to make a data entry you will be making data entry right but here there is no user to make data entry here you will make a data entry it will go to a field and that data will go to the database here no user in the picture no data data entry we are going to make here the data will go from field a to field b and assume field b is our formula field okay so the source of our formula field is no human or user intervention automatically it's going to copy the data from another field and finally that data from formula field is going to be submitted in the database that's it this is how actually it's going to work okay so always remember in formula field we cannot enter the data directly it's a 
read only field for us it's going to take the data internally okay fine so let's proceed now and try to understand the stuffs so how formula field is going to help me or help our customer to solve this current problem see what we are going to do now here in our current object let me open the fields we will create one field here called as formula field and in this formula field we will just try to take Matthew automatically and then give comma and then John automatically this all we are going to do automatically so that our manual intervention will be not happening a question may come in your mind but shaker what about those 90,000 old records for new records okay but what about 90,000 old records now please note guys another important interview question whenever you create any formula field that will impact old records as well that will work on old records as well so this way whether you have created 90,000 records or nine records in the past for every record formula field will be generated and the value will be copied from first name and last name and automatically the value will be shown okay now I'm going to tell you this by an example see right now I have not created any formula field correct okay so first of all I'm going to do just save this record Matthew John so just remember that this is the record that we created before we create formula field okay now after we create the formula field again we are going to open this record and we are going to see the value so let me now proceed for creating the formula field so for that what we can do you need to go to the fields creation process how to create the field that you know very well that go to setup and go to object and go click on the object and create the field but there is a long approach the shortcut that we use in real time project is this quick access menu and in the quick access menu the first option that we see is view fields where we can work on the fields okay so let me click on view fields and uh, let's proceed uh, so let's proceed now I'm going to delete this about your previous job and all these fields because I don't know <clears throat> I don't need that so just remove that only make it simple first name last name experience that's it and uh, just let me delete the reference if it is being used anywhere just give one minute So just give one minute let me <clears throat> clean up some fields which I don't need to make the example very simple and straightforward so about your previous job field I'm going to delete it okay so now we have only three fields and that is enough for us experience first name last name so now let's create the formula field click on new Now here please note this is the formula field okay we need to select let the page get loaded this one okay so click on formula field and click on next okay now here in the field label you need to give the name of this field so let's say we'll give the name called as the outlook name uh, 
Now there is one more very popular certification question. Very popular certification question where you need to tell what will be the type of the formula field possible to us with scenario. So the certification question which my previous batch student got is they will give you four options in the question and they will say which is the formula field from this or which is not the formula field from this okay so this way you need to identify the correct field so let me just mention the certification question so please note the certification question which you can face is what are types of formula field so you just need to understand or remember uh, the formula field type and that's it okay so if i just show you here checkbox currency date okay and uh, after this After this, come to that uh, same page to see remaining fields, and uh, then we have number, percentage, and text. Okay. These are the formula fields, and this came in the exam also. Fine. So now for us, which field will be suitable? Of course, for us, text will be suitable. So please select text and click on next. Now here is the area where we have to design the output of this outlook name. What should be the content for this outlook name? We have to design here. Okay, so we know very well it's a simple scenario last name comma first name that's it okay as of now let's forget about comma let's assume we need to give only our last name and first name okay comma thing we'll see after 10 minutes as of now just assume we need last name and space first name okay so for that Salesforce is saying that all the fields data which you want to copy from any field you can take from this option okay if you want to copy data of any field you can do by insert field option okay so let's see how we can achieve this so for that what i'm going to do is i am going to click on insert field click on insert field and then select indeed job form okay Okay, one minute. Yeah. Check now. Select indeed.com. And from then indeed.com, first we'll select this. Okay. So I need this field. I'm going to select that field. And we're going to press on insert button. Okay. Next. After this, what we need is first name, correct? Okay. So again, give some space and click on give some space. Insert field, indeed job form, first name, insert. So just look at this, last name, first name. So we are assuming that it is correct and uh, everything is fine. Let's check by having idea of Salesforce view, check syntax and see what's going to happen. Definitely there should be one error. Okay, just give one minute. Let me let me use charger. Okay, just give one minute.
okay thank you for the hold and uh, let's start so here there will be definitely one error because salesforce is saying that when you are using these two text values both are giving some kind of text output you should join them together you should combine them together you cannot use like this like first name or last name or any field whenever you use such multiple field you must join them together and for that we have an operator let me just show you now here you will see the list of operators which you can use operators are nothing but those which will operate on your data let's say by saying addition subtraction multiplication these are all operators so salesforce says whenever you want to join two text then you are having <coughs> Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, there was one uh, fluctuation of the network, you can see. There was small fluctuation of network for three seconds. So nothing to worry. At any point such happen, anything such happen, just you need to wait for that. Three, four seconds and done. Okay, not a big thing. And uh, as I already said that uh, even any kind of network issue happen also. I have four internet connections at my home. So one is not working. Second option we have or third option we have. So you just need to wait for a few seconds and I will be back. Anytime you see that my audio is not uh, uh, like uh, you are not able to hear me or no, I am online offline in the session something like this. Okay. Fine. Let's continue. So Salesforce will say you cannot use this, these fields like this without using any operator. So which operators we should use here in this case? So please note in this case, we can use the operator which is useful for joining two statements. Concatenate. Click on this. This operator will help you to combine two statements. Okay. Now let's see what will happen by checking the syntax so click on check syntax and uh, let me see the message okay you can see that there is no error now everything is fine now just come down description and help text you know very well what to enter here so we are going to skip it because we have seen this in the topic of field creation now here blank field handling so salesforce is saying you salesforce is saying you that suppose shaker there is no value in that field first name last name there are no values in that field then how actually you are going to show the value like if there is no value you want to show zero instead of that or you want to show blank instead of that so please note guys if the values are numeric then we should go for zero if the values are text then we need to go for blank okay so this is a standard that we follow in real time projects so i told you so you can use the benefit of the same in your project in your future project so i'm going to select here blanks click on next okay now here we can select that field level security which profile can I have the access of the field etc etc so i'm selecting here visible for everyone and making next okay and this uh, page layout again we, do, we have to do nothing in this step just click on save nothing to do in this step
okay that's it so now our field is ready let's see the output let's get a new record and let's see how it is going to work so let's let's give a different name and let's say for example something like this something like this okay and click on save and just look at this it's working but still there is a problem the problem is of space do you see any space there no we don't see any space okay fine so let's see by going to this field that we created by clicking on outlook name and uh, we'll go to that formula that we have used So let the page get loaded. And uh, you can see the formula present here. Okay, now the problem is, the problem is we don't get any space when we have seen, when you have seen the output, there was no space. But when you see here, we have sufficient space. What is the problem? Please note, Salesforce says that even a space is nothing but a text data. Even a space is a text data. And every text data we should be giving in a quotation mark. Every text should be in the quotation mark. Okay. So let's understand how we can do this let me remove this ampersand as of now and give a quotation and then space and then quotation so this is how actually we need to build the formula by giving a space whenever needed by using quotation mark because even space is a text now i am going to paste this entire code in the chat box now Definitely there is one mistake or there is something pending in this text not mistake, but we can say something pending So you guys now work on that and give me the output in the chat box. I Have pasted in the chat box copy that make some modifications and tell me how can I complete this formula? Before you reply before you type ensure you have selected shaker or presenter Not all participants to disturb other people in the session so make some modifications and give me the output. Those people who are doing correctly, I'm going to reply them by saying good in the chat box. I can see correct answers are coming good to know that very good so just I told one time and you guys got it so that is good to see yes the usage of ampersand what actually is the expected thing and good to know you guys have done it properly fine great so those who said that we should make the modifications in this way yeah correct it's all about the ampersand so please note now now to combine this and this to combine this and this i need one concatenate operator so let me put the cursor in the middle and uh, 
give a space and uh, just put the cursor here and go to insert operator and concatenate that's it so double quotation and last name is combined now again double quotation that uh, this quotation and first name let's try to combine <coughs> so it's not double quotation it's single quotation so single quotation and first name to combine concat that's it so anyone who said this is the correct answer okay so let me just click on quick save and come to and by the way guys please note one more important thing which will help you to get the necessary knowledge of your jq or improve your jq means the job related environment otherness or real time things that what is difference between save and quick save so when you press on save then or when you press on quick save at both time your current work will be saved your current work will be saved both the time no problem but if you press on save then salesforce will close the window assuming that you don't need to work now or you don't want to work now in this activity you will it will take you to the previous page but when you press on quick save then salesforce will feel that you want to continue your work you want to save on the same page that is the reason your current work will be saved and you will be on the same page because salesforce is assuming you want to continue your process okay fine so now let me go for the record and let me refresh the page and just look at this it's displayed like this okay so it's working and just now only one thing which is pending is comma so let me go back to that same code and now we'll just give some comma okay give comma quick save and uh, we'll come back to the record page refresh the page and you can see it's working as expected okay so this is the power of formula field now if you remember i told you before some time that remember there is one record form number 7 that we are going to create before formula field let's go to that and see whether we got the output there or not means what will happen to old records so here you can see i have form number 7 and i am going to click on that to see what will be the situation in the old record so click on form number 7 <coughs> and uh, just look at this it's also working perfectly okay so this way we need to understand how we can make the implementation and how we can make the activity in this format any question till this point please ask any question everyone any questions any doubt if you have no questions then please mention in the chat box clear but before typing please select your please select shaker or presenter properly Okay now let me
see the questions okay so first of all uh, uh, please note guys there is one important information that why formula field is uh, special because you have lots of scope here to perform automation okay that is one important thing you need to understand okay and now let me see remaining questions so I I will read all the questions first and they will answer okay just one minute let me read all the questions okay now I read all the questions here are the answer so question number one the formula value is saved in the database yes correct every time uh, uh, whatever you work done in the whatever work you do in formula field it's saved in database second thing whenever you are going to open that record okay the fresh value will be calculated and shown to you on the screen and this way formula field will always work with the fresh data next but it will save in the uh, database not a problem next next question can we combine text and number in the formula field yes we can combine next question single quotation and double quotation are same or different they are going to give same results no problem how we can how many fields we can concatenate multiple no problem you can calculate multiple fields there is a question uh, that the question is about the certification question which I mentioned in the uh, screen this one I think this one you're talking about I think uh, what type of formula field so this came for admin okay this came for admin just before few months let me see next question yeah no problem next question yeah all the questions answered fine guys so now it's time to move for a complex scenario customer is <coughs> asking for a call and uh, they have some kind of problem to discuss with so we are online we are saying okay sir can you please tell me uh, what is the problem is it same for formula field or what actually is the issue customer say yes same formula field only we have some kind of problem so we are saying no problem sir please tell us how we can solve or what is the situation so customer said okay so let me tell you the scenario for which I am we are facing the problem Customer is saying, can you please open any record? And we are saying, okay, sir, no problem. And we are opening the record. Something like this. Let me open any record into the Salesforce environment. So here we go. In the job form. And uh, open any record. okay now let me open any record one minute now see what customer is saying customer saying is guys we are having a problem here the problem is see when we are going to work in this scenario at that time one important thing we need to focus always is that we cannot address our customer just by saying Matthew John no we don't follow this pattern or culture in our project we use the prefix either mr or miss and this way we follow the pattern so what our management is asking to show here 
full name mr matthew john or whatever if she is a lady then miss and whatever name it is so please proceed for that because we don't want this format now we are saying but sir actually how about gender we don't have any idea about gender so what we need to do in this case customer said don't worry create one more field here called as gender where the person who is going to make data entry he will be selecting gender as per gender you should be showing here mr miss or whatever we said okay no problem and let's get a field called as gender and to create the field the shortcut is view fields or click on here the new button at the right hand side and uh, pick list field label gender okay or let's say candidate gender okay and uh, i'm going to select here values male female and next visible for everyone click on next and click on save okay now just go to the record click on edit and now here what we need to do is just add any value select any gender let's say he is a male and click on save and please see here the expected answer should be or output should be mr matthew john but it's not happening this is not happening and this is actually what we want to give the solution to customer okay so let's see how we can do this now we are going to work on the same scenario means same formula field because already you are having that so what we need to do is just go to that same formula field and we'll try to implement this solution so proceed for that same formula field and uh, go to the field section click on the formula field outlook name okay now we are going to work here okay now see here one important stuff i would like to tell you in this process in this process everything in the line 1 is correct whatever we have till this point everything is correct see here okay below this line whatever we have everything is correct so there is no need to touch it now only we need to write or ensure something by which we will be selecting correctly mr or miss only that thing we need to select okay now here how we can get the idea whether the person is person is male or female so we can just need to take check the value of in, indeed job form and just scroll down and uh, where is that candidate gender field um here double click or single click and click on insert and that's it so by this field we are going to identify whether to show mr or miss how we are going to compare it now there is a function called as if this will help us to solve the problem if write a logical test means write a condition if that condition is going to be true then show this value 
if that condition is going to be false then show this value simple okay so let's so use that one so cut this candidate gender field <coughs> and come here logical test and uh, cut paste equal to as it's a text value so i'm writing in a quotation mark male okay so if candidate gender equal to male then instead of true value okay i'm going to write here male oh sorry mister okay and instead of false value if it is not true then that's it okay so i'm checking here if candidate gender equal to male then the return value should be mr or miss simple okay now here is one important thing to understand for joining this line which is going to return either mr or miss and for joining this line we should have one more thing in between what is that what is that what is missing right now to join this very good very good correct now to join this we need one more concatenate operator because this is also text that is also text so let's have one more concatenate operator there so put the mouse cursor operator and concatenate so you can join it like this okay now let's see the output by checking first of all the syntax <clears throat> and there will be definitely one mistake by the way means error will be there because we have to make some small change so please note okay that is it's talking about this line first of all let me remove that line it's saying i don't understand what is that uh, line which we are creating so first of all let me remove that line okay and uh, like this okay and click on check syntax <coughs> and uh, you can see there is one error now this error is a very very important point which is going to tell you one rule of salesforce formulas the rule is whenever you are going to compare any field like this whether it's a number field or text field or um, a text area or maybe phone number field or an email field it's absolutely correct to compare it like this if whatever phone field okay you have whatever phone field you have equal to equal to this yeah it's correct this is correct format no problem but the only important thing you need to understand for the pick list values it is wrong for pick list it's going to be wrong salesforce says for pick list type field you should be having another format and that will be nothing but is pick list value okay so please note for pick list this is wrong so let me just show you if you are going to compare like this this is wrong salesforce says for pick list category there is one field called as this this is pick well for pick list you must select and use this function otherwise i am going to throw error okay so let me just convert it now by this way copy this candidate field come here 
text literal I want to compare is this okay now you go for this with this data and you can see now this will be right okay we should be using is equal function otherwise it's not going to allow you to save the formula so let me just cut this part and come here and replace with this old wrong text and that's it so always use the function is pick val whenever you want to compare pick list value another very very important interview question asked in many interviews of my many previous batch students okay comparing pick list we must use is pick val otherwise for other fields it's okay click on check syntax and see the output and uh, if you see the syntax check okay then click on save okay now it's time to see the output go to that record go to that record where you have just made some value and uh, let me edit this okay so we are, we are going to select here candidate gender male now pay attention here the selected value is male okay now click me click on the save and uh, after that the output you are getting is mr matthew john that is as expected and second record i'm going to create for one lady and let's say for example another record and let's say something like this some something like this and uh, female and save and you can just check it like this okay so this is actually the power of formula fill and there are so many multiple real-time scenarios you can solve because there are so many opportunities by uh, formula fill by which we can uh, help our customer in many scenarios and based on that i'm going to give you some assignments today as well before that all those people who are clear with today's session and uh, they are ready to get the assignment or work on the assignment please type done in the chat box please type done in the chat box there is a question uh, question is uh, uh, can we use checkbox to create gender field now no no we cannot we it's it's not work it's not going to work right so uh, you need to create uh, two checkbox then one for gender one for uh, sorry one for female one for male so then you have to check and compare both the values instead of that a simple solution is this um, pick list and second thing at a time we can select both the checkboxes okay so this is conceptually wrong right we cannot have both values selected at a time if you are asking for country country india usa uk how can we select all the checkboxes at a time so in all such cases in real time project when you are expecting only one value should be selected by customer go for pick list compulsory okay i hope you got the answer there is a question can we use text function instead of pick val no next question can we co add comment in formal syntax yes we can add the comment okay we can add the comment There is a question uh, in this existing record can we how can we handle so please note in this case we cannot do anything simple in this case in existing record we cannot do anything because this is to be done by user okay okay fine so guys now I'm going to send you the assignments in few hours please work on that that will definitely boost your confidence these assignments are coming from my ongoing and my previous projects so you will get confidence once you complete that that you are working in a real time activities and then you will be ready for the next topic as well okay
So have a great time. Let's meet tomorrow. See ya. I'm signing off.